So, spoiler warning. This is, the, uh, this is the part that gives a lot of people PTSD. One of the challenging things about this is, I know that this game is hard, and I knew that this music would get annoying for some people. I knew that the magic would kind of fade. But kind of the point of this whole 20 section split is that if you do a perfect run of this level, the music will hit so good. Like I grew up listening to a ton of glitch music, so this type of stuff's pretty rad to me. But I can totally understand how some people find this, while they're really frustrated, find this to be infuriating to listen to. So in this video, we're gonna go through how I scored the chase scene final chapter music. It was something I think we kind of knew would be divisive. Uh, I think Rubeki knew that the pace of this level would be very different uh, compared to the rest of the game. But I won't speak on his motivations around that, you know. Uh, his He's the game designer, uh, and I'm sure there's a lot of feedback out there, but some people love it, some people hate it. It was a very different music style, too, that we were gonna go for. It was more hard style, super fast BPM, four on the floor, kind of tension inducing, fear, anxiety inducing type music, which is kind of the opposite of, of the rest of the game. So yeah, anyways, lots of spoilers for the ending here. So spoiler warning, if you don't uh, want that spoiled, uh, just watch this video maybe after you're done playing the game. Here was the original uh, Trello card that we had. So we kind of do a lot of our collaborations uh, just via Trello. Drone question mark. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we were going to do a drone yet, but it was um, inspired by, let's see this clip, from Berserk that uh, I guess uh, Rubeki wanted me to kind of use this as a reference or inspiration for how to kind of make the music for this level. But you can sort of see in the, the graphical themes here, very dark, very twisted. So that was a little bit of the uh, quote unquote reference inspiration. Initially unsure of what we wanted to do for this. And we have some uh, early footage. That this is some really early footage of the level two that he sent me. The texturing and stuff was very different back then. Just look at how insane Rebecca is at his own game. I remember watching this and just being like... You know, using this as a reference is cool and all, but this is just impressive uh, parkour. I guess you really have to... He, he is one of those devs who actually understands how to play his game, really, his own game really well. Not sure, Gabber, Industrial Hardcore. We just know it's a relentless chase, so I sent him... You can see I sent a bunch of stuff here. So I, I, we started with concept number one on October 7th, 6-2, which was October 22nd. Um, so it's kind of the range there. Anyways, let's see what... Uh, what did uh, concept one sound like? So I guess I was just going for... Yeah, more of that like dark hard style see i've never produced this type of music before so this was a challenge for me i was like dipping my toes in some new territory here with this it's definitely a bit too dull so yeah he was like needs significantly more brutality i want people shaking by the end of this level <laughs> so i think this was the uh yeah this is when we we started to kick it up so that was a uh, that was sort of how we transition into this next version. For this one, I was really focused on this one distorted kick. So I took a kick, I applied a ton of distortion. Uh, I think I pitch shifted it a bit to uh, give it a correct tone so that I could match that tone with other instruments and stuff as well. And I got this product. I think that, so this is actually what I released as a bonus track, the Air Madness. Uh, but yeah, let's take a listen. I thought this was totally a vibe, uh, but Rebecca didn't like it, and that's okay. Um, so we wanted to see maybe what it'd be like if we incorporated the main, kind of the main melody. Yeah, so I call it the main theme, Silent Hill Pad. This was kind of like our. This one.
This melody was like the consistent theme I wanted to keep across a bunch of different tracks um, throughout the soundtrack. So then I took that and I, I, uh, I decided to try and incorporate that into the chase music. <laughs> Distorted. I kind of like this unnecessarily distorted respace here. Some... Still kind of not feeling it. And then we eventually landed on concept six. Sounded like this. This was like an early version. The one of the melodies here was a little bit more pronounced. This track. It was getting there, uh, but I think the melody and, and some other stuff. So this is kind of where we start. Uh, I've got some cinematic boom stuff going on, impressive hit, and I've got this uh, this kind of off tune in harmonic drone at the bottom. It's kind of tonal stuff, kind of all there together. I love this like distorted, reverberated kind of bass sound. me of the upside down from stranger things like kind of that world as well like the mind flare and all that stuff it's just the ba bells that are kind of trailing downwards right they have that kind of have that awesome effect i love it the cinematic stuff coming up here a great pad from that this preset Gives that metallic sound. I think that was the sound that Rebecca was really looking for. Kind of this. I, I guess it goes with sort of the theme of the game. Um, I would say in many parts of the game, it was kind of prompting me to incorporate almost like a old, worn metallic instrument. Not instrument, just sound profile, sound texture, palette, etc. And I guess it does match the mega structure, rusting mega structure pipes sort of aesthetic. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let me keep going. this and then eventually we get to this part which everybody loves very simple build up this is the uh this is the part that gives a lot of people ptsd and it's this bass line that i love um really all i do is take that add a kick drum with a bit of side chain that is the main like driving part of this track and really it's just layering it i have kind of on top of it oh yeah and we have this little s double snare Honestly, it's just a progression. You can see I even uh, split it up into sections. Yeah, I won't go through the entire track here, but I can show you guys some of the other instruments. I think at one point I had just a lot of percussion and stuff here of this other bass line. Got this together. And then I add this in eventually, which gives it a cool... So 
So here's where I started doing a lot of edits because we want the track to get very chaotic. So this, these are all, a lot of these are actually manual edits. Zoom in, the right here. Yeah, I did do those manually. For the really nutty part that happens at the end, which, um, you know, as this level progresses, uh, it gets closer and closer to imminent chaos. That's when we use, uh, well, that's when I actually just decided to use stutter edit. So I just have some patches with stutter edit. And I'm gonna just mangle, kind of rip and mangle this already sort of manually glitched uh, section. That is eventually what fades kind of into the distance uh, right for the ending of the game. We have this folder, I just created this folder called Chop Chase, which is like um, splitting up uh, all the different sections. You know, Rubeki was looking for something that was dynamic in the sense that as you kept going through the level would hit be hit with like an evolution uh, of the track. So it'd be like kind of the standard loop. And then when you get to this checkpoint, uh, you have you know, a new section. And yeah, I, I'm I'm sure that's, well, that type of thing I'm sure has obviously been done uh, in other games before, but I, I thought that was going to be very fun. And, you know, okay, how can I progress this track uh, and make it so that it kind of evolves with the anxiety that the player is feeling? You can see every section here evolves a tiny bit. Yeah, so on and so forth until it gets to this, like... Until basically it is unrecognizable. I'm gonna play Alpha Beta Gamer's video here. That is essentially what captures the horror and dread of this level. One of the challenging things about this is I know that this game is hard and I knew that this music would get annoying for some people. I knew that the magic would kind of fade if people were getting really, really stuck. But kind of the point of this whole um, breakdown, kind of build up, you know, 20 section split is that if you do a perfect run of this level, the music will hit so good. That's kind of like this hidden, almost, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a, I guess it's an obvious reward. It's not really a hidden reward, but sort of the side reward of becoming really good at beating the last level in this game is that you get to go through and listen to each section in a very fluid manner and the, and the music kind of just keeps building up as you progress. And I think that, like, I, I mean, I just want to say I love the this section of the game. Uh, I think a lot of people, again, people are pretty mixed about it, but I personally truly love it. And I'm not just saying that out of bias. I think one of my favorite levels ever uh, in a video game was um, the Jinzo Tree Escape from Ori and the Blind Forest. Like this... Like, I freaking love this level. I, I love I love the music in this level. And I think when, when Rebecca brought up the kind of dissolution escape chase scene, I immediately thought of this. Um, and like, check this out. level so much it's one of my most beloved levels in orient the blind forest this is one of my favorite platformers ever i think i 
that that level was also in a way you know you really had to nail your mechanics of of that game like that's a that's a challenging uh puzzle platformer game i will say that sorry not puzzle platformer just a kind of a challenging metroidvania platformer game i would say that it's definitely way easier than the lawrence lure final level but that whole chase is is pretty exhilarating and i do think that um in some similar way if you're if your lawrence or parkour mechanics are very good and you're just nailing the grappling hook i i do think that it is a very intense and rewarding experience and i do credit uh Rubeki for like really putting that together and imagining it um uh, I have heard, uh, someone has asked for me to like, actually, I've read a couple of comments of people being like, why didn't you put the really ultra glitchy sections into the final, into like the YouTube and Spotify release version of this track? I might actually just publish the full uncut, like one to 20, uh, outro version on YouTube. Uh, if that's something that you guys want, just uh, leave a comment uh, for it down below and I'll just put that up on YouTube. <laughs> I grew up listening to a ton of glitch music, so this type of stuff's pretty rad to me. But I can totally understand how some people find this, while they're really frustrated and their ass kicked in the game, uh, find this to be infuriating to listen to. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, that's how it is, guys. Um, that's how I put together this music. Um, that's how we did it. Uh, thank you for watching. Check out the game. It is out on Steam. Um, check out the soundtrack. Download the soundtrack. Give more feedback for me. Uh, you want me to post more stuff about the soundtrack or more concepts, etc. Just, yeah, let me know. Thank you so much.